This is the old, old switch and bracket. Here's the new switch and bracket. Model number is 33082. Replacing the bracket is critical. So what they've done is they've modified the bracket between the old and the new. This is the new bracket. It's the same exact look on the top. On the bottom, they have cut away that bottom edge right here. On the old bracket, that used to be raised all the way across there and the sail switch, the, the arm for the sail switch paddle was hitting that and not allowing the switch to actuate. So the new bracket's modified. This is the old bracket. It's the, you can see it's the same, but it used to have this raised area and you can see where I've trimmed out that area used to come across right down here I've cut that out and opened it up so it's pretty much looks like the new bracket the sail switches are exactly the same same model same company everything and I'll show you which fits in there like that. Something like that screws onto the bracket and it hangs out there. So the old bracket, when it used to have that raised area across there, this paddle arm was hitting it and it just wasn't actuating the switch all the time. So that's why they cut it out. So now it's free to travel. Nothing in the way. So that's what they did to the sail switch, and that's why people have problems with the old ones. So I've modified mine, and it's been working fine, and I have a spare now. There's the uh, switches installed into the brackets, so the old switch. All right, new switch on the left. Flip them over. See? So when the switch actuates doesn't take much to make these things go. See, that comes all the way down there now. Before, it just couldn't quite hit it because that raised area was here. So sometimes it would work, sometimes it was just on the air, airy edge there. And the same thing, this is the old switch that I've modified, the bracket, so it's open. You can see it has all the travel, but you can see if that raised area used to be there, it would only go about that far. Now it can go that far. So that's how they fixed them. And on these switches, you can see if you get a bunch of dog hair or something, uh, this is in the airflow sitting in here like this, so the dog hair gets in here, in between the paddle and the bracket here. It gets all tangled up. Now this switch can't move. And that's uh, so a dirty switch that's fouled up with dog hair is another cause of the problem.